I'm Jeffrey Rosen, and I'm thrilled and humbled to introduce myself to you as the new president and CEO of the National Constitution Center. This is an extraordinary time for the Constitution Center, which is celebrating our 10th anniversary as the Museum of We the People. As we look forward to the next decade, our mission is as timely and important as ever to illuminate constitutional ideals, inspire active citizenship, and celebrate freedom. One of the highest privileges of citizenship is an opportunity to participate in a conversation about what the Constitution means. As a museum, we welcome visitors of all ages and backgrounds to explore the history and relevance of the Constitution through innovative exhibitions, rare artifacts, and hands-on activities. We aspire to be America's town hall, the place where citizens can gather, hear the best arguments on both sides of any constitutional question, and make up your own minds. As debates about the meaning of constitutionalism spread around the globe, we aspire to be an international town hall as well. I look forward to working with the center to host these constitutional debates in Philadelphia, on the internet, on radio and TV, and around the globe. There's no institution I'd rather lead because convening and moderating constitutional debates is my great passion. As a teacher of constitutional law, I begin every constitutional conversation with a simple rule. In a constitutional conversation, all of us have to make constitutional arguments, not political arguments. Citizens have strong disagreements about politics, but all of us can learn enough about constitutional arguments, about the text, history, and structure of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights to debate even the most hotly contested question in constitutional terms. And sometimes, at the end of a constitutional conversation, we find that our political and constitutional conclusions diverge. That's when we know that we're being guided by our highest principles and ideals. The Constitution continues to be at the heart of our nation's most contentious issues from immigration to health care to gun rights. Every week and every day, there's a new political issue that raises constitutional questions, from surveillance cameras and drones to free speech on the internet. But in a polarized age, there are too few opportunities for citizens on opposite sides of a constitutional question to gather together for civil debate. As a law professor and a journalist, I've long admired the National Constitution Center as a great institution that provides a unique national forum for precisely this kind of bipartisan education and debate. And I hope that you will come to think of the center as the place where you can turn to educate yourself about the best arguments on both sides of any constitutional question so that you can make up your own mind. I'm very much looking forward to coming to Philadelphia and experiencing all this great city has to offer. I hope to meet you and speak with you at an upcoming exhibition debate, program, or event. And I welcome your feedback about how the National Constitution Center can help you educate yourself about what you believe the Constitution means. Thank you for your interest in learning about the National Constitution Center. And most important of all, thank you for your interest in learning about the Constitution. <laughs>